Well hello Internet and welcome to part 2 of my Arduino video tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to measure voltage, current, and resistance with a multimeter and also measure voltage using an Arduino input and a potentiometer. And also I'm going to show you how to set up resistors in series as well as parallel and how those are going to affect the overall resistance of our circuits. But first I'm going to jump over right now and show you how to measure both current resistance and voltage using a multimeter. Now to measure current you must interrupt the circuit and then use your probes to complete the circuit as you can see I did right here where I'm testing the current before we have the resistor. And then you can see also if I put the pins between the resistor and the LED that the current also stays pretty much consistent. And then we measure the current once again after the LED and into ground right here once again by disconnecting from the board and you can see that the current is again consistent and anything that's a discrepancy is based off of the connection just not being exactly right. Now to measure current, you would have your dial set to milliohms like I had previously, but if you want to go and check the resistance of a resistor, you would switch it over to ohms, and you can see right here that we have a 150 ohm resistor. And if you remember from the last part of the tutorial, you can see right here that the bands are brown, green, black, black, which means 150 ohms. And now I can also measure voltage just by turning the dial to the V with the straight line underneath of it, which stands for direct current instead of the wavy line, which is alternate current. And you can see right here the power from the Arduino is 4.97 volts. I can also measure the voltage that is taken up by the resistor, which is 2.6. And whenever you add up all the components, they're going to equal the 4.9, which is coming from the Arduino. And you're going to see here that the total voltage taken up by the LED is 2 volts. And whenever we add 2 to the 2.6, we end up with 0.3 lost in the other wires. Okay, so now that you know how to use a multimeter for reading different pieces of data about our circuit, what I'm going to do now is write some code. What I want to show you here is an example of how we can analyze circuits with an Arduino. What we're actually going to be able to do is using the analog 2 pin. We're going to read in the voltage changes as we go and change the resistance for our potentiometer, which is a variable resistance, which just means that it can provide a variable resistance as you, as you turn a knob, as you're going to see here when I show you the circuit itself. So basically what I need to do is just initialize that I'm going to use the pin that is going to be analog pin 2. So let's just come in here and do that. And then in the setup, I don't need to really do anything, um, you know, except set it up so that we will be able to output information about the changes in voltage to our LED as we change the resistance for our potentiometer. Once again, potentiometer just provides a variable resistance whenever you turn a knob. So what we can do is I'm going to read in some input, which is going to be from the value of 0 to 1023. 0 is going to represent a 0 voltage, and 1023 is going to represent 5 in voltage. So let's go and get that guy, and we just go analog, read, and then we're going to read in the pin that we designated above. And then after we do that, we need to convert from 0 to 1023 to a voltage of 0 to 5 volts. So we're going to create a float, and this is going to be the voltage reading from our Arduino. And we just multiply that times 5, 0, divided by 1023, 0. And then we need to convert from 0 to 1023 because I want to show like a percentage for the amount of resistance that we are showing. So once again, uh, we'll do the pot uh, percentage. So we'll go 10,000 is going to be the maximum because we are going to use a 10,000 resistance um, maximum for our potentiometer. So then multiply value times 10,000 and divided by 123 once again. Okay, then I'm just going to output on the screen the changes in the voltage. So we'll go volts and then once again we will output the voltage that we're getting from our pin and then we'll do a percentage once again for our uh, our potentiometer so can't actually get 
an accurate resistance, but in a later tutorial, I'll show you how to actually measure using a, a different circuit, how we can measure the resistance changes using a Arduino. And then just to break things up a little bit, go and throw a new line inside of here. And then so that everything doesn't fly all over the screen, we're going to put a one second pause into it. And that is all the code we're going to need. And now what I'm gonna do is go and run this program and you're going to see as we change the resistance how the voltage is going to change and then you're also going to see the LED actually pop. And here you can see the circuit that we will actually be working with and if you wanted to measure the resistance of this potentiometer you could put a probe on one of the ports in the front as well as one of the pins in the back of the variable resistor and you can see here as I turn the knob that the LED is going to turn on and as I continue to turn it, it will eventually just go out because it gets too much voltage. Okay, so what you can see here is as I turn the potentiometer, you're going to actually see on the screen the point in which you can see the voltage is going up right now. And you're going to see the point when we have enough voltage to actually light our LED. And it's coming. And there you go. You can just vaguely see it at that point. And then as we increase it, we're going to see the point in which our LED actually explodes. All right, it's not going to explode. It's just going to burn out. So let's just keep turning it up and turning it up slowly. And the reason the LED is going out is the potentiometer is just slightly off here. I can move that, meaning that it's coming out of the board. Here you can see it's getting 1.81 juice. Take it up a little bit more, 1.8 it can handle, 1.89, and the whole entire thing is just going to die. 2.14 can handle, and right there, you can see around 3, it's getting too much, uh, and it died. And you're going to see that that is indeed true, and indeed it is dead. And there you go, there is the LED burning out, and you can see how the increase in voltage eventually burns out your LED. Okay, so you saw the video of the code actually running and the LED breaking as well as the overall circuit with the potentiometer as well as the LED. But you might think to yourself, well, how exactly does a potentiometer work? Well, you can see right here, this is going to be where we're getting our voltage. And if the voltage ultimately needs to get to the output pin, which was the pin that was on the right side of the screen, the voltage is gonna have to travel all through all of this resistance until it gets the whole way over here. And then it's gonna go in and it's gonna go to the output. That means there's going to be a longer path it has to travel, which means there is more resistance. And this is going to be the actual zero port where you're actually getting no voltage. However, if you turn your wiper the whole way to the right, you could see five volts is coming in directly right here to the output. So that's going to be at the max level, which means it's going to be provide approximately five voltage. And that is just the simplicity of a potentiometer or a variable resistor. And now what I'm going to do is jump over and show you a circuit that is going to show you how to set up resistors in series as well as parallel. First off, you can see two resistors set up in series, and these are two 1,000 ohm resistors, and you can see that combining them in this way adds up to 2,000 ohms. Once again, we have two resistors of 1,000 ohms, and you can see here if we put them in parallel that it actually comes out to 500 ohms. Okay, so we saw with the multimeter how the resistance changed, and here, of course, using Ohm's law is how we could calculate the current changes. So if we have a resistance of 2,000, like we had with the resistance in, of, in series, in which we had two 1,000 ohm resistors, you could see that current would just be 4.97, which is our voltage, divided by the total resistance of 2,000, and you can see the differences in current. While in parallel, what you actually do is you take resistor 1 multiplied times resistor 2 divided by resistor 1 plus resistor 2, and then you can see that we have a basically the resistance has been sliced in half and then you can see how that of course would affect our overall current so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i largely created it based off of the different questions that people posted in the previous part of this tutorial series so keep posting your questions and keep telling me what you want to see from this series and like always please leave your questions and comments below otherwise till next time